Changemaker, Holly Rustic here with Grant Writing and Funding, and I'm here to help you grow capacity, increase funding, and advance mission. If that's the mission of the nonprofit that you work with, or if you're a grant writer, the nonprofits that you work with. All right, guys, if you have not subscribed to YouTube, our YouTube channel yet, please do click subscribe below so you can be sure to get all of these great videos into your inbox. And today we have a very special episode on how to write the best press release. And we also have a downloadable sample press release and a template along with this video and podcast. So if you'd like that, go ahead and click in the notes below. All right, so let's get to it. We're going to be talking first about what is a press release, right? Why do you actually need it? So as we look at what a press release is, right? Why do you need to actually write one? A press release just basically gives information to the press, right? So what kind of information? A grant being awarded. Like if you secured a grant for your nonprofit, great. Send out a press release. Let the media know, right? You want to have that published because that creates credibility for your nonprofit and also just awareness about the new project that you're starting with that grant. Another reason you should write a press release is if you're expanding a project, if you're creating a new project for your nonprofit, you have a new board of directors, or for a fundraiser. There's other reasons as well, but those are some of the big ones, right? So if you have a fundraiser coming up, you want to get the word out. Maybe you have to sell tickets, that sort of thing. Or maybe you just want to have sponsors and partners come on, so you need to let the public know about what you're doing. So those are the main reasons, really, on what a press release actually is and why you would have to create one. So you want to be able to have something that is newsworthy. And what does that mean? All of those different elements I just explained are newsworthy because they are something new that's happening. It's not just like, oh, let's go ahead and send out a press release just about our nonprofit in general. That's not really going to get a journalist kind of, you know, ear. They're not really going to look at that and say, oh, that's something we want to publish. Um, so you really have to have something that is timely, such as we just got a grant awarded, um, you know, for the next three years, we're going to receive $500,000. That's a huge deal to your community, right? Because it really impacts more than just your nonprofit. Or we have a fundraiser coming up in the next two weeks, and it's going to be this great event. You know, you want to be able to talk about that. That is newsworthy. So moving on, what are the reasons your nonprofit should actually release a press release? Well, everything I had just said, right? You want the public to know, but other reasons could be maybe you're trying to attract new donors, sponsors, um, partners, so you want to be able to have information about your nonprofit out there. Of course, one simple reason is to gain exposure about your nonprofit, right? You're doing these things because you're creating more awareness, you're creating, you want your message to be out there, so as long as you combine that with a newsworthy event, or reason, then you can also gain exposure for your nonprofit in general. And a final reason is just to demonstrate a partnership. So maybe you have certain things in your solicitation package for your sponsors. Say if you have, our example today is a cat ball, right? We're going to be able to raise money for to spay and neuter 100 stray cats. So you want to be able to talk about, you know, this is a great event, but who's your main sponsor? A main sponsor coming on could be Japan Cat Airlines who's going to sponsor two free tickets to the costume winner to Cat Island Japan, right? So totally fictional here guys, but there is actually a cat I mean, in Japan, but anyways, I don't know what it's called. But you could definitely, you know, loop that in. You want to be able to say, okay, in our solicitation package to our sponsor, Japan Cat Airlines, we said, you know, if you sponsor up to $2,500 or something like that, right, then you also get a press release written about your organization. So sometimes that's included in your solicitation, so you want to make sure to actually move forward on those press releases and, you know, to make your promises come true, right? So that could be another reason you write a press release. So moving on, overall tips to actually writing the format of your press release. Keep it simple, right? You want to be able to be very simple in your writing and don't use huge terms that nobody, you know, only specialists know. You want to keep it very simple. The next thing you want to do is keep it no more than one page. So just one page, don't go on to the next. I don't care about your wonderful, beautiful, witty story. That's not what a press release is about. Basically, a journalist is going to be scanning that, 
one page and they want all of the information right there so they know if they want to write a story about it do a video segment on your on this actual release or just be able to shove it in some empty space somewhere right because that's really kind of what it comes down to sometimes you also need to have it newsworthy and we already talked about that remember keep it something that's actually timely and that has some kind of interest to it right and of course finally you want to make sure that you include all of the tips that we're going to be talking about next. All right, so now let's get into the nitty gritty of how to actually write the press release. We're going to do this real quick, but once again, we do have our downloadable if you want to grab that at grantwritingandfunding.com forward slash 77. All right, so how do you actually write this? You want to make sure that you include the press release is on your letterhead. If you don't have letterhead, put a logo in the header, put your contact information in the footer, right? But if you have letterhead, do include it on your letterhead. Remember, it's one page. You want to use maybe Time New, New Romans or Arial, 10 to 12 point. Keep it simple. Keep it basic. All right. At the very top, you want to have the contact information. So you're going to have your point of contact, the name and the title, as well as the email address and phone number. All of the contact information for that main person there. You also want to have the date that you want it released, right? So you, if sometimes, if you were just sending it out at a certain date and you want it released as soon as possible, you could just say for immediate release. And then you also need to have the header and a catchy little hook or tagline, right? So you wanna have the header there and you can just have press release for cat ball, right? <laughs> and then the slogan is, uh, costume winner wins free, two free tickets to Cat Island Japan, because that's kind of like interesting, right? Or it could be. Um, and then you wanna go ahead and get into your intro. Now, basically when you're looking at this, you have your contact information at the, at the top, you have your header with your tagline right underneath it, you can put your tagline maybe in the, italics or something. Next, you're going to have your introductory paragraph. Your introductory paragraph is super simple. It's your who, what, where, when, why, and how, right? So you want to have all that information in there. You would have your information about the cat ball, where it's going to be held, what time, what date, and why, you know, you're, you're talk just briefly a tiny bit about why people should come, but your second paragraph is gonna cover more of the why. So you basically wanna have that information in there so people can really get a hold of it, understand what's going on, and then you can say, you know, this is our nonprofit organization is bringing you the first annual cat ball on January 1st, 2020 at 6 p.m. at the fancy hotel. And then you can go ahead and talk about our nonprofit is a 501c3 nonprofit, so right there you're creating credibility, right? And we have a mission to serve animal health. Simple, right? You wanna make sure it's simple. In your next paragraph, you're gonna go more into the need. You're gonna also wanna include their uh, statistics or data or a quotation from somebody, maybe your executive director, it's usually, right? Something like that. So you can go ahead and include some information to back up the need. So you might have information from the CAT census in 2016, you know, explaining why there's a, there's a problem with stray animals, how many there are in your area. And then you could have a quote from your executive director saying, you know, it costs $5,000 to spay and neuter 100 cats each year at our clinic. Um, and we're really excited about our first annual cat gala, which is gonna be a lot of fun. So you can have a lot of information like that. But once again, you wanna keep it pretty simple. This is a need, this is why, and a little bit of kind of personalization in there, so that quotation. Very simple, once again, you're basically backing up why you're doing what you need to do and why people should support you, right? Okay, so moving in into your final closing paragraph. Your final closing paragraph is kind of like the contact information in a narrative form. So then you're just, you wanna have that, your call to action, what people need to do to get involved and how they can get involved. So basically, you know, sponsorship packets are out and tickets are $75 each or two for $125 and they can be found at www.catnonprofit.com and you can contact, you know, Ali Cat, executive director for more information at and then put her phone number and her email address and that's it. Very simple. So once again, you want all of the contact information at the top. You want to have a header. You want to have when it should be released, the tagline, your introductory paragraph, 
and you know, your who, what, where, when, and how and why, and then you want to have all of that with a little blurb about your nonprofit, then move into your need. Remember, your need includes your stats, your data, or quotation, or a combination of those three. And then your final closing paragraph, which is your call to action, where people can get information again, and how they can contact you, and who they should contact. And then at the end, three hashtags, bam, you're out. That three hashtags at the bottom just means that's the end of your press release. So there you go. That is all about press releases, how you can make a wildly successful press release in a very short amount of time. Be sure to grab the sample downloadable at www.grantwritingandfunding.com forward slash 77. And let me know if you have any questions, holly at grantwritingandfunding.com. All right, guys, I'll see you next week.